gonna put your chin right here, okay. okay, and put your forehead right on the top there, and we're gonna find your image on the camera here. Okay. And here's, here's, here's Christine, and keep your eyes closed, Christine. You're gonna hit the three flashes. And now we're gonna see eight different pictures that are analyzing different components of, of Christine's skin. Gotcha. Um, it analyzes everything from sunspots to um, pore size to wrinkles. And these are the most common things that we see in, in ultraviolet light exposure. So here, here's the analyzing. That's so cool. It's pretty neat, right? Yeah. So it really it's, is. It's like going to uh, eight different specialists. <laughs> exactly. And and what's interesting is it's going to compare Christine's um, sun damage to other people her age. So we're looking um, right now at the eight different pictures, and we're comparing spots, wrinkles, the texture, the pores, the ultraviolet spots, the brown wow. spots, red areas, and pore friends. And in Christine's skin specifically, one of the things that jumped out is the brown spots. So um, one of the first things our body tries to do is protect our skin from the sun by coming by trying to pigment and make freckles. Unfortunately, when those freckles don't go away, they become sun damage. And in your case, you're, you have um, pretty significant sun damage. About only 9% of people of your age group have worse sun damage. Wow. So we really want to jump on that and fix that. Can you reverse those numbers? We can. So starting a good sunscreen program and sun protection program is really key at your age. Um, and at any age in general, you just want to make applying that SPF 30 part of your daily routine, yeah. okay? And then even at 24, you're starting to get some fine wrinkles. And just like the truck driver, that UVA light is what really stimulates the development of wrinkles. So you want to make sure you're, you're using that UVA and UVB sunscreen. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And moisturize. <laughs> creams moisturize. and potions. Creams, creams and, and yeah. potions. Yeah. yeah. And it's really important at your age also to realize what's in between a freckle and a beauty spot and what could be potentially a cancer. And so we do like to educate our patients about what to look for, which are called the A, B, C, D, E's of our sunspots. So A is any spot that's asymmetric where one side looks different than the other. B is any spot with an irregular border. C is anything with more than one color. D is any spot bigger than a pencil eraser. And E is anything growing or changing. So if you find any of those freckles or sunspots fit that category, yeah. you really should see your dermatologist for an evaluation.